<sighs> next. Okay, so the next item. Customer agenda request old fish and game deal any others? Yes. Units. Yes. Okay. So um uh, we do have the owner of the property, current owner of the property, correct, um, here in the office with us, and we've been in discussion regarding this. Um, there are three units that are for rent. Unit number one that you see here on the screen is a room only, and um, the third floor here is a separate unit. There are no stairs that join the two currently, nor have there ever been. Um, and then unit number two here has a kitchen in it with a studio. So, um, before I just run away speaking about it, like I know everything about it, I'll go ahead and open up the floor to you guys. Um, I know that currently our ordinance states, um, so we all know, um, that this property has one ER assigned to it. Um, we know it was the Fish and Game building. There was one employee in there at all times. The top unit was always used as a glorified filing room. Nobody ever went up there. Um, and the one ER for the entire unit um, has always sufficed for it. Um, there are no sewer connections or ERs available for purchase. Um, the only way that this building could get another ER is if one of the surrounding properties um, had an extra ER to be able to transfer to it at this moment in time, uh, and then that could accommodate the usage for this building. So you know, one and two or have a, commu a community type bathroom, a bathroom for either of them to use? Uh, yeah, so you can rent unit one individually, or you can open up a door and you can rent them together. And there is a kitchen unit in there. It does not have a dishwasher. It has a refrigerator, it has a countertop, it has a cooking stove top, it has a kitchen sink. There's also a bathroom down there. Total number of bedrooms is debatable. Um, you could rent unit two as a studio. It doesn't have a separate bedroom. Um, if you rented unit one and two, there is a door that joins unit one, so it could be classified as a one bedroom, and then you would turn. So, getting back to my question, did one and two each have their own bathrooms? Uh, there is a bathroom in each unit. Yeah. Here, one of the criteria is for the number of bedrooms. So, if you have four bedrooms or less, one in yard should be enough. Yeah, unit number three uh, upstairs has three bedrooms. So it's a total of five bedrooms. No, that's over. Well, by most of our definitions, it's, 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 two, it's a TR, it's a two ER unit. I mean, I'll go ahead and open up the floor to him so that he can speak <laughs> on it. Um, I don't wanna, it's, yeah. it's not five bedrooms. That one room upstairs is not a bedroom because it doesn't have a window. Yeah, it's a technically you need a window, correct? Right? To be a bedroom. There are two bedrooms upstairs. And downstairs is the same unit as it was structurally. Nothing has changed. The building is exactly the same as it was. There was plumbing upstairs and there was plumbing downstairs, just as it was. It didn't have any bedrooms then. It was just a. It was just yeah. And in fact, to his point, we have installed energy efficient toilets, so the usage has went down in regards to flow. I would be happy to put a film on to prove it over a period of time. Uh, the more I thought about it, this building was what it was, and it still is what it is, except it's more efficient now. Um, yeah, I know that on the listing, it does advertise it as a five-bedroom unit. We will unit. change that. That's a mistake. <laughs> um, and quite frankly, if the council, by the way, thanks for the education that's been asked, um, if you do not want us to rent one and two, we'll just rent one and two. You know what I mean? Because there's a door in between, as we did not even change that door. It's the same door as it was. And it's just the same building with the same plumbing. So whether there was one person there or 14 people there that the fishing game, it's the same plumbing. So I would say that, that easily can handle the flow. And once we were able to prove that, then I could maybe apply for a 30-day uh, OV because I wouldn't have 30 days in a row. I've read the, you know, everything here. There's nothing we did. We didn't touch that septic. 
or, you know, the sewer line at all in any way, shape, or form. And that kitchen that you're saying, the kitchen, it's not a kitchen, it's a bar down below. So that, in all aspects, is a single family residence. And the definition doesn't, there's no definition of kitchen. So, but you're not planning on utilizing a single family area. It's going to be multiple unit. It depends. It depends. No, I mean, what, what are you doing with the one, two, and three? Well, again. Depends. What, what does it depend on? Depends if I want to do it or not. Like, for instance, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not asking, I'm zero, and I, I understand. If somebody wanted to rent a room to somebody in town, right, would they have to then, you know what I'm saying? Would they have to then have two ERs? No. If I want to rent downstairs and I want to have upstairs, that's still fine. It's the water usage is fine. And then the DEQ doesn't have a problem as long as we can. That's why I was like, maybe I could help you guys by putting in a flume, then showing a consistent water usage that doesn't affect. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think it's less because of what we've done. Uh, but we all just all take out the fact that we'll never rent one. I don't, that doesn't affect. Anything. It's literally a bedroom, you know, with a shower. So <laughs> if that's what you guys want, I, I would concede there. I, I just, nothing's changed, you know. It's just more efficient than what it used to be. Let me kind of summarize. What, so room one is just a room. Yeah, it's a room, but it does have a bathroom. It does have its own bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So here we but there's no kitchen? No. It has that little bar area you see over there. Room one does? Yeah. Right, so this is just the bedroom rental here. This door adjoins the uh, unit number two. So this is number one over on the bottom left-hand side. It um, has a little coffee pot, small mini fridge, uh, microwave, and then it has a full-functioning bathroom over here. It's kind of like a motel room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unit number two, this is the um, bar kitchen area. It does have the sink the stove, the microwave, and the fridge here. And here is <coughs> the kitchen that we saw but from a different angle. And then the studio portion, this door here leads into uh, the unit number one over there. So in the past, we've had people expand houses. We've had people rent home. You know, apartments out of their, not apartments, but rooms out of their house. And we, that is what it is, right? You rent a room out, you got a relative there, or whatever it is. But we don't charge the yards for that. It's part of the house, right? But then again, there's apartments, and there's apartment buildings in town. Each apartment is in the yard, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I look at that building, way thing is, number one is quasi kind of a hotel room. It's added on to number two, possibly a lot. I don't know. I see two ERs there. To me, it's a question of how do we get another ER. This is going to come up more and more. Yes, it is. And it's, it's already come up. Um, we have a lot of ERs available in Bayview. Well, I wouldn't say that. They're unused. Um, whether they'll ever be used, I don't know. But people pay for them. We don't own them. So we can't do anything about it. Um, but perhaps we could facilitate a you might say. Uh, be it a rent, a rent one or buy it from somebody else who's never going to use it because they have a lot somewhere. Um, there currently is somebody with a property nearby that has other ERs that would like to purchase this and could transfer ERs to it to get it a um, uh, in compliance. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to be setting the price. Yeah. I think it's really do you want to start purchase my building? Yeah. Yeah, no. That's why I, I told everyone to purchase the ER. Oh. And, and why do I have to change when the building was a lot of this in the first place? It's about the usage. It's the same usage. It's, it's about the ER. business yeah. with yeah. one employee. In there. It's very much about the ERs and how we get regulated by the DQ. And ER is an ER residential equivalent. And when I look at that, how it's being used, it's two. And when I look at a lot of other people in town, you know, they have apartment buildings, they have to have 15 of them. There's some that have, they've been, they've been counting up their yards lately because they want to expand, right? Several of the people have gone through that process of how many do I really have? Mm -hmm. 18 or 19, 
And that's defining what they can do. It's truly defining how they can subdivide their land, and how they, what they can build. I mean, name drop, but Mr. Chan probably has plans to do something with his land. And that is going to be defined. What he can do is defined by how many ERs it has. I mean, he truly is. So as a board, I think we have to come up with, can't control it, planning zoning board. We try to keep people in compliance, otherwise, just kind of get out. Just turn the seat from the residents. It's hard to be able to start between them. But it has many yards, just like any other single family residents. Well, if you rent it out as a unit, or just one at a time, you might say. But again, somebody if rents a room, it's the same thing. It's not, I don't, it's not fair to the building that. It is being treated different than I guarantee somebody out there renting rooms because that would then fall under the same exact thing and that would be a problem. It seems like the building's being treated different now than it changed hands when it was treated exactly the same. But I, I, I disagree with that, but if, if, if per se, and this is, this is a policy issue, somebody had a house and they decided to divide it into two houses and make a duplex out of it. Perfectly legitimate. There's some up on further some zoning issues with that. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't get burned by that a little bit too. Um, God bless you for going. It's good planning and zoning. Um, but if you could turn a house into a duplex, what would want to do? Not you. Somebody else. We would expect two ERs, right? Right. Yeah. That's absolutely. And I don't see the difference here. I wouldn't say we turned into a triplex because if it's just a bedroom. Just a bit. People rent out bedrooms all the time. We had one lady that had the sewer problem. She was trying to run an apartment in her basement, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Then the sewer backed up and right. put the kibosh on that. The pump problem. But isn't the worry of the, the amount of flow more than anything? Because we could debate all day long what that is. And it's about the flow and not getting in trouble with the DQ. So if I prove that it does not harm, then we're fine. That's not the issue. Yeah, what is the issue? issue? The policy of the ER is another elevator. Yeah, but, but, but it was that way before. The building was the same. It still it it was wasn't the same. multiple living units, though. So. Yeah, it, it was, was a multiple one. It was usage a... units with plumbing. This can, again, be very much debated. <clears throat> it, was, it had plumbing up there. They were using it separately all the time. And they, the Fish and Wildlife could have put 20 people. When we watched the fireworks over there, we had multiple fish and wildlife people coming over to us going, hey, can we sit here? We, a ton. We were all here. So if they could do it, why can't I? Just a common sense. I don't understand. Well, it was an operating event in one building. And it's still it's fishing game, and, and again, if fishing game was violating it, I'm not sure how we would have known. Plus, they replaced them. They got what, four or five units up there by my house now. Mm -hmm. um, little camper units, basically. But it's really a precedence. How do we solve this for the community? And this is just one example. Right. There's more coming. And people want to utilize their real estate, which is what you're doing, to get a return on investment, right? That's what it's all about. And the sewer thing is creating, because there aren't any both readily available, without going through some kind of third party system. How do we? And it would harm me. There's a lot of people who are trying to sell it. And that's well, it's you know, you look at it, it's kind of like that's a cool use, right? I never, you know, wish I'd have thought of it. But um, you know, it's a, it's a good location. It's I wouldn't want it to sit with family residents there behind JDs. <laughs> but for a for a uh, weekend rental, you know, perfectly good, right? But how are we going to address it for the rest of the How are you calling the town that's swimming the bottom of the bar? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think. Well, I saw a kitchen in number two. Define kitchen. Well, there's a stove. There's you can pull room. out a stove. People put it back downstairs, in downstairs <laughs> all the time. I'm just, I, listen, I'm being the devil's advocate, and it's true. I, I'm in construction all the time to build. And we and have the Morris Forum on the sewer hookup. And this is, this is a... And we DEQ put that on the street. 
I know I know I know about this. Maybe you did. Well, maybe you did. I know I haven't did changed the authority that I haven't changed the authority. Well, you change use. And, yeah. And that certainly is a change. Um, when you have a business there, yeah, your people are that. eating yeah. their lunch yeah. and yeah. they're not yeah. really yeah. making yeah. dinner yeah. to food, though yeah. people can. Yeah. It's yeah. there, they have it. They showered there. There was, there was, there was, there was seldom, very seldom more than two people there. Right. Uh, the, the two bills were there and, and, and it was. And they weren't uh, living there either. I mean, no, no, no. And, 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 office and, and they were the, the weekend. Do some people have bigger families in town or? That's not the issue. <laughs> what is the issue? ER. It's all. I understand it's ERs, but do you understand what I'm saying? It, I mean, there's people still, over here that don't even occupy these things for probably six months out of the year. They're, they're really minimizing. Well, I don't know, I'm trying to they're minimizing, they're mi minimizing their effluent, their water uses, and everything else, just like you say you're going to do with your stuff. But yet they still, if they're in little bit, one bedroom or maybe it's a studio, they're still all paying any ER. Yeah. And there's always the 3,000 square And they invest in single family yeah. residents yeah. and those five bedrooms, three baths. Yeah. But they also they have seven families in there. That's not how it's going I'll pay more than it. Yeah. I don't, I'm just, I don't. The regulators don't pay What can I do? Cooking facilities, laundry facilities, kitchens. The only thing they look at is bedrooms. You can have a 10 bedroom house with one bathroom. It's going to get as much use as the people in those 10 bedrooms. You can have 10 bathrooms with one bedroom. And it's still only going to have one so bedroom. So it's four bedrooms. bedrooms. And that's what it one is. Bedrooms. So that's, what, that's all we look at, just the bedrooms. So it's four bedrooms. And that's good enough for one ER. But that, that's, again, that's still not the actual point. Well, I'll put a stairs in. It's a single family residence. Yeah. If it's a single family residence and it's operating a single family residence, I think it's a one ER. But as soon as we make it into apartments, every apartment building owner in this town will want to be apartment building owner has exactly the same issues. And, well, I can put up 10. I can work up to five. But I didn't. That's the point. Well, you did. You went from from one to two or three. Um, and I'm not saying it's a door. I'm not saying it's a door. And structurally, that, that place never changed. There's plumbing upstairs, and there's plumbing downstairs. Like I said, I don't have any problem with one <clears throat> being called a bedroom. Just I, I understand that, but it's still the same building that's supported only one yard. But so is there somehow we get this? I mean, I would buy any yard. So yeah. then it makes, you know, honestly, you folks happy. I do that, but I don't feel it's fair to be forced that the building is called something different than what it is and it was. Because well, I, I can prove that. It, it is what it is. It's the same building. You could have had five people up top and five people down below. Still had bathrooms, still had sinks, and it had non efficient toilets. So, and well, I'll prove it with a fluid room. You know, just, and at that time, if the previous owner or the previous usage was like this, it, this would have been brought up and it would have been discussed, and there would have been the uprising as. I promise somebody came along and brought this up. So, and you're just defending the building as it was and still is. I don't see why it would be forced. Right. And well, what can I do to help them? Well, some, I think we have to discuss and come up with a solution. Of how are we going to set a policy that's reasonable and can be applied in a reasonable manner and including backwards, right? Because we have people have paid for 20 ERs. Every month they pay for sewer bills they're not even using, right? Because they may only be using 15, but they purchased 20 years ago. Um, no, people are not paying for unused they're ERs. They're not paying, but they invested in them, right? They pre-purchased um, that portion of the infrastructure to be set up, but they are not paying a monthly service not paying, fee. They're not paying a service fee. Correct. They, they paid something up front. Correct. And they paid every month, in some cases, for the LID, basically, right? Uh, yeah. Which was just billed last year for the final time. But yeah. Okay, but for 30 years, they paid a bill mm -hmm. for something they weren't using. Yeah, for the infrastructure, basically, to accommodate the usage of the building. Just do we know that the initial investment? Yeah, it, was, it, it, it comes down to the fact that there's only one ER assigned to the car sector. Yeah, there's four bedrooms. 
which is just fine. But then an apartment owner could come to us and say, well, I'm willing to put this bed in an apartment. It's not an apartment. But the other family residents in this community are being allowed to do short treatments. And I will tell you right now, if you want me to give you a list of other short-term rentals that are being separate, I can find it. And I can find people that are renting rooms. And this could become a problem because mine is no different. I just am the person in the crosshairs because somebody decided to make it as such. I will take away the number one so that it's just three and two, and it'll be what it always has been. I'm trying to meet in the middle, and we have a gentleman here who obviously understands that it's about the bedrooms, and there's only four. The ERs, ERs are not, I would argue, actually, that that's not. Yeah, that case. I knew. Okay, because thanks. Why does know. the building thanks. get an extra? Bye. 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 Sorry. Two bedroom apartments. He can't go. Well, that's one he got. This isn't an apartment. Again, 